Hello, it's Ileana. Welcome back. I've been playing again with some paper in my crafty alcove using the Acorn Avenue kit by Like Forever. And I've begun with this Cedar Lane paper, which is called Park Place, to cut out a little bit from the centre. You can see I like to go frugally with paper and I'm going to be using the outside border for something else. But I just needed the little middle bit to rest my main layout onto. And I don't know if you caught at the beginning, but I've called this one Tote Alley Snap because it's an ode to the Alley Edwards week in the life, which completely passed me by. I don't think I knew what was going on until after the event. But then a little conversation came about, about uh, leaving cameras on supermarket floors and, you know, having the guts to kind of take a picture of yourself, as Ali did so superbly. And I thought I'd have a little challenge. And it was only for the fact that I had a camera slung around my shoulder anyway, after having just dropped the boys off to school in their jeans. So I took some pictures of their jeans for jeans day. And you'll see a layout about that later. Um, that I had the camera and then I just seized the day, you know. So now I've um, used this frame that I cut from... Was that the Fifth Avenue paper? I'm sure it was, and I've backed it with vellum. So that was a frame I'd cut for the last layout, and um, I decided that it would work quite nice as a bit of a mat to those two pictures, which are kicked off to the sides. And the only reason the little one's so small is because I still am um, working out the selfie. I've had it for probably over a year, and I still have to work out the right formatting. So I didn't like to waste the small picture, but it was far too small to have a, as a main... Um, center focus but I liked the way it looked as though it was going off into the perspective so I'm showing you there the riverside lane a little tiny piece there kind of teal polka dot paper that I would I thought I'd just ground that bottom corner with um, <laughs> it's me using up my scraps basically and uh, layering the picture onto that so yeah that was a day uh, I think I got away with it I certainly wasn't arrested and but I've done some journaling just to reflect the fact that I really wasn't comfortable about it. Um, it was a bit kind of snap and run. In fact, I took three pictures. Um, I was aghast at one of them. It it just showed my scalp so much. I thought, whoa, it looks like I'm balding. It might have been the light, but I have quite fine hair. And sometimes I play with it and twiddle with it, and it probably comes out. <laughs> I don't know. I am getting old, aren't I? But I hope I'm not balding. Anyway, that's why I've only got two of the pictures I took. And I'm just inking round a sticker, this delightful little sticker that says Get Excited, which comes in the kit as soon as you open up the packaging. And oh, it does get you excited. It's the perfect little message. But I did want to put that, incorporate that into my layout. Um, yeah, as you do, you know, I don't like to waste things. So I was just pulling it off the wax paper I'd preserved it on and inking the edges. And I've stuck that onto one of the ephemera pieces, which had lovely glitter on it. Now I've just selected an ink <clears throat> one of the distress stains I think it was the faded denim or something like that to ink around the edge of the ticket there which says love this I, I'm calling it a ticket it's a bracket thing that it's also an ephemera piece just to kind of make a top left cluster and the the ephemera pack came with some lovely clear acetate tags as well and I'm using two of those in this layout this one's fairly clear in fact almost that you can't see it it's just another little piece of texture. Of course, it glints in real life in the light. And I thought just to draw attention a slight bit more to it, I'd put one of those round ring fin ri ring reinforcers <laughs> uh, and ink around that as well and put some twine of my own, of which I have about 60 meters. So I'm using that up. And a little tiny piece of gold behind one of the chevron pieces, just the one that will overlay the photo. I don't know why I did that really. It looks kind of sweet though. And so I'm just showing you the fact that I used the sewing machine to stitch around the edge of the um, banner that I made as well as the other chevron tag. I absolutely love chevrons and I really like the energy they give to layouts. So I thought that really worked well here. As you can see, I'm kind of moving the layout from top left to bottom right as a kind of enter and swift exit kind of feel so it's it's bleeding off the page on purpose I don't know it's just experimental on my part I kind of like the idea of doing that <laughs> so I did 
So it starts on the top left with some words and sentiments from the kit and one of them says today. Then it says the perfect day, which I've layered onto the um, the wooden um, piece from Heidi Swap that came in the kit as an add-on. And some more of the wooden chevrons that also came as the add-on. Um, and then I'm just working some of the titling around it. Now, as you can see, I've already used the glitter alphas that came as part of the Cedar Lane collection this month and uh, given it the title, which, so I knew I was going to call it this, me and my play on words. It was not, not too genius, but I thought it was quite fun. And, um, and of course the double meaning with snap of uh, meaning that I'm matching Ali Edwards in her endeavors, <laughs> as well as snapping with my camera and then running. So I decided, although originally I'd printed off my journaling on one piece, I've cut the word, well, the words and run to form a separate part of the journaling as though it's kind of making its exit as well. I just thought it had a bit more of a punchier effect. And then I've uh, done a bit of a gold disc behind the camera there with one of the ephemera hearts overlaying it just because it looks kind of sweet. And I did really love doing it, you know. Um, not that I'm much of an exhibitionist, I'm quite a shy reserved person really, but sometimes I like taking risks. Um, so there I'm just twiddling about with some scissors and um, sticking on committing pieces now. And uh, yeah, the, the layout's pretty much taken shape. I realise I don't really sew enough on my layouts, I like doing that though. But uh, okay, so here I've just pulled out a little tray of... I think these are basically, you know, where you do die cuts and you end up with the inner pieces. Well, I've ended up with two loads of these gold dots from one of my die cuts and I don't really like throwing them away. And I'm glad I didn't because I've used those as though they're anchoring down the place name piece there that I've overlaid the perfect day pink tag on. The butterfly will, as it, as quickly as you saw it flutter on, that's going to fade off as well. So that wasn't used in the final, so I've um, just drawn attention to it in case you spotted it, but please don't think it's there it is it's gone I love those butterflies and I really would like to have used it but I thought <laughs> it was getting a bit crowded on the layout and it didn't quite fit the theme either and so I'm just carefully going around with the ATG to find the spots that aren't going to show through because of course that's vellum but I do want to anchor it down fairly carefully because there's quite a lot of stuff all over that um, cluster and then finally just bleeding that banner off to the right and finding some homes for the last pieces of ephemera, uh, including the banner, that kind of greeny blue banner. And my thinking with that one is it's a bit of a shelf, as well as the fluttering away of the camera. That's a paperweight, by the way, I keep popping down. I just recently discovered it on a clear up. Um, one of my aunts gave that to me from Sweden. Her name is Britt. And I love the fact that I'm getting use of that in the modern day. So I'm just committing down some of these gorgeous thickers. Um, I'm going to tell you the name of the font. You probably already know. Fitzgerald. My favourite colour of all time. And the the little arrow as well that came as part of the Cedar Lane. Well, this Acorn Avenue collection. And twiddling around there with the triangle that I created. So it's the back side of that yellow paper which I quite like the energy of the chevrons well the zigzags um, and just sort of laid the and run wording onto the bottom there along with the arrow pointing off page so yeah uh, back to the paperweight and, and like I say I don't know if you have any family members that you go around to visit them and they just no, adorn you with their trinkets and such, but I do. That's not the only one that's done that to me. Maybe they just think I love trinkets, and I do. Anyway, um, most people don't really like seeing their own head <laughs> in camera, and I I'm not alone in that, but uh, except on this occasion, I'm quite glad to see that there's no real bald patches. So I'm just sticking down some of the tiny little words as well um, that are status so the one at the top says like a boss this one i'm sticking down on the chevron says find adventures oh no find adventure i mean and the one under the camera just says rad <laughs> it's a good idea to get the words used otherwise i never will will i but they are fun and they're kind of in keeping with the theme 
This is my all-time favourite gold ink. It's the one that I always go back to, but I used other ones and then I get disappointed that I did that. But this is my favourite and uh, it's my Winsor & Newton gold ink. And I've splashed that around the layout. And to give the ultimate random effect, I'm popping some sequins around it all as well that came with the kit collection. So these are the pretty pink posh sequins in the adorable colours that they are in. And that completes my layout for you folks. Um, I'm going to read you the journaling. It saves the music, doesn't it? And it's this. It says, shopping list. Milk and bread and stuff. Wine. Aha! Oh no, customer. Whistle innocently. Smile on CCTV. Prop camera on shelf stackers trolley. Snap. I'm done. And run. Thank you folks for watching. It's been a pleasure to have you along with again and I'll be back again as soon as I can with the next one. Bye for now. And don't forget to check out the Like Forever blog, details of which can be found in the descriptions below. Thank you.